Hello, welcome to the void. I am a gatekeeper, and today I hope you enjoy this little stream that I'm about to do. Well, not a stream, but a video. Um, so if you don't know what this game is, you're about to find out. I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. Welcome to Saint Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Alright, so... Well, I don't want to choose that. I'm gonna go with, um... I'll go with Greg. Just because I can. My last name will not be that. It will be, uh... Oh, we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, sure. Yes. Let's go. Come on, man. Alright, so, uh... It includes a powerful visualization module, allowing the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Uh, sure. Why not? Let's, let's see what they are. Let's get right into this. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been years since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I choose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing around li along like this. Right, uh... Usually you've been ready for an hour by now, Greg. Overslept? No, I, uh, no. This rock dove is named... Jeez, I don't even know how to pronounce this stuff. Karaya Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Oh. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when the starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell? Already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers! Oh my god. Jeepers! No, no good being late on the first day. And so, Ryota pulled me along into school. He's a pigeon, how does that work? <laughs> Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do just to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make all a fall. Look, uh, you know, you know how it goes. Most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon for the pigeon. The first term. I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. Exciting. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. And it's a pigeon. Good morning, every birdie. Wow, that, that, that's a nice pun there. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Uh, seem? You mean there could be another teacher? I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. Okay. And it fell asleep. Good job. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Well... Don't question him. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's famously super... Yeah, math uh, professor. Some of these words I can't even pronounce. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Oh, do we now? Please introduce yourself, Shiragan. Shirag Shirogain. 
What is the point? Oh my god, you look sassy as fuck. I wish I ha I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Good job. Hey, 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 that's, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into Kolaks or, or and dissenters. Okay. Getting a little, uh, yeah. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragain? It's a good name. I like it. Good job. Shiragain Label Sakya. It seems this fantail is Shirogain Sakya. His feathers would make anybody proud. He just looks very feminine. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Sakya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little birdie, uh, bird, <laughs> is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. Yeah, I wanted to learn some math, some physics and stuff. What the hell? That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Okay, first of all, a receptionist, the library... Wouldn't it be a library in or, or a library assistant? I mean, come on. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Some, some birdie probably is. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Um... He looked away. Oh, not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything from you. Now, it seems kind of snarky, but I don't know if that's the context they're going for. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Maybe you're a little too dense. Were you waiting for them all summer? Yeah, it's silence. He silently turns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Mimi Greg. <laughs> a sophomore, what about you? Silence. Your silence. Nagiki. Na Nagi. Ah, yeah, Nagiki. That's all I can. Fujishiro Nagiki Freshman Straight to the point, alright Well Fujiro Nagiki Huh, morning doves are pretty rare in Japan So is that haircut Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad He had a bad childhood Leave me alone Aw, oh, he's reading his book again Okay, sorry to bother you I keep meeting depressing people today. Yeah, that's... It's kind of depressing. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You never once been a brother to me. <laughs> Please, don't try to talk to me again. I got no time for hot breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Saka... Sakazaki Yuya is Sakoya's <laughs> brother. God, it's so hard to pronounce this stuff. I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey. Yeah. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakoya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Yeah, that's yeah, some good words. Ah, uh, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that wasn't, but, but that there wasn't too cool. Okay. 
This fantail pigeon is sick. Sakazaki Yuya, an upper class. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. You're Greg, right? Yes, me, me, Greg. How did you? My name's up here. <laughs> I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. <laughs> he is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck. Mon amour, adieu. I don't know many uh, other languages. I'm American, so can, yeah. I barely speak English. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, you know. Probably a twisty business. That's all for day. today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? <laughs> Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me. Silence. No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. You're a human, you have that? <laughs> There's no birdie here. Ryuta. No pry. The infirmary is empty. Weird, did he go home already? I feel a little bit nervous, poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. <laughs> Ethyl par, trife, lucio benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? D -d 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 doctor? <laughs> I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm. <laughs> and no, thank you. <laughs> this partridge is Iwamain Shu. Iwamain Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus psittacosis or even worse things and I never even heard him come to the door ninja doctor <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here did you need something um I heard Ryota Kawari from 2-3 was supposed to be here hmm he's already gone oh why didn't he come to find me before going home sorry to bother you I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird washing. I want to go for migration. <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. <laughs> I think their club room is on the, the ground floor off to the side. All I dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo! Coo! This is no pudding for a man! <laughs> Coo! Okasan rejects it! It's a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around on a squish pudding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. This is Okasan. Of course, he's actually a pigeon. <laughs> he doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Coo! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coo! <laughs> Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Coo! But this is no pudding! Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the strange shop by those he most trusted. 
It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo! <laughs> Spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo! Don't rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them played, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Coo! Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> He's a good runner, but what does Pudding have to do with the track team? It's Pudding. <laughs> pudding has to do with everything. And so ended the first day of my second semester in St. Pigeonations. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. <laughs> Okasan has time only for the track team! That's good, what about you, Shogane? A foolish question. I already hold the position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nep- Nepotism! Ho! Don't we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all, so... Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join the... Join the... Okay, um... Yeah, let's just join the library. I was a library assistant. That's everyone, isn't it? You know, I kind of wanted to check out some of the other, um, you know... Sports and stuff that they didn't, so... Have fun! an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Attend? Math class, gym class, music class. Well, we were kind of already in math. Uh, we went to the track already, so let's go to music class. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Um, oh. Great, leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Okay. That, that's good to know. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books? It's on the fifth floor, though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here, twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. Dot, 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 dot. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, uh, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. You don't have freaking wings. <laughs> Planning to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Huh. <laughs> Neki, Nagiki, when did you? I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. <laughs> You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? Um... You should go outside. No, books are nice. <laughs> they are. Why don't you enjoy the library staff, Nagiki? You could read whatever you want. I already read whatever I want. I mean, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, touche. <laughs> you shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Wait, hold on. Is this home legit a cave? <laughs> oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prefer anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, help first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Uh, the, the Okasan guy. I, I like his coos. I wonder where Okasan went. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Who? Who? It's not here. The footy is not here. Ah, uh, it's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? Who? No, Okasan believed that wonderful pudding could be found on the hikes. Is there a kind of pudding that lives on the mountains? <laughs> Okasan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. And he's gone. 
What kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Alright, so we attended music. Um, let's just go ahead and go with math. I'm not getting this at all. Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, Mimi. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Great, level up. <laughs> Wisdom increased by five. Uh, imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival, so it's always been in May. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool! <laughs> Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about it being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can decide. That's all for today. Ryota is doing the three-legged race, Okasan's running the marathon, and Saki is the cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... These are all good, um... It just goes back to the library. I'll do the first aid tent. That sounds kind of interesting. Salutations! Did you come to gaze into my eyes, Monome? Um, I heard the first aid team was sore handed. <laughs> Salutations? Alas, spurned for the sake of medicine, I must work harder to prove my love. Okay. <laughs> anyway, happy to have you. As you can see, we have plenty of work to do. Ah, the obstacle course does always hurt a lot of birdies. Why use a game designed for humans? Beyond the beam, Monome. I suppose it's tradition. Where's the doctor? Shouldn't he be here too? Over there. He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birdies on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ru ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. <laughs> Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birdies graduating from the school get scouted by pro sports teams. So maybe he's checking up on the promising ones? Uh-oh, they've started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami. Yes, sir. And so I spent the sports festival patching up damaged doves with Yuya. I learned some first aid from him, so it was a time spent well, I think. The first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Mimi. Yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! <laughs> with the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. <laughs> huh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Greg. <laughs> Brian won his seven Pulitzer. <laughs> he gestures at a news clipping in the staff room pinboard. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. <laughs> Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. <laughs> He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgeot Olympics. He is extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. 
Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. I do. Great. Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during the break. Go to the. The store, the infirmary, the cafeteria. Go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I'll go to the store. I never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. I see that they have pens. <laughs> Though these nest building materials look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. My, how mature of you, Monome. Planning to settle down already? <laughs> That's weird. You, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but you know we doves reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. <laughs> they do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. <laughs> My, I, uh, Yuya, that's, we're not, I'm not good enough? Oh, well, I'll have to try again later. <laughs> Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Meanwhile, my name's Greg. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? I, I think that's a little rude. Let it slide. I'll, I'll just let it slide. It's not like it's surprising coming from him. I mean, yeah, he, he's been like this since day one. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Math class, gym class, music class, go to gym class. Today is calisthenics. Right, Yuda? You're in high school and you still can't do a chin-up? Don't look at me like that. You're making me feel like a failure. <laughs> Greg leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Yeah. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? So, I don't know how long this has already been gone, but I'll probably have to end it here so I can save the rest of this for you guys for later. Also, I got some stuff to do, you know, important stuff like bathe the cat and, you know, bathe myself too, because you gotta wash your body, wash your body real good. And that concludes this episode of, you know, our little pigeon boyfriend escape game. I hope you enjoyed this and go ahead and like, you know, comment something or whatever you wanted to do. Just, just go ahead and just give this a watch. Even if you skip around, that's fine. But this is a pretty interesting game, so go ahead and check it out. Peace.